All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another reaction for another Russian Badger video, and this one is another Warhammer video. Don't worry, we're going to get back to the World of Tanks videos. I know nobody's worried. Nobody cares. But we will get to it. Uh, this, this, a uh, couple people let me know. Actually, I think it might have just one, been one person. I'm sorry. I should have looked up who it was. I'm bad at these. I'm unprofessional, and I should stop. I should also stop making so many videos a day, I know, but these are fun for me to do, so I like doing them. It's the only thing I got. Anyway, so this is, uh, I watched the Warhammer thing, blah, 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 but people let me know that the one Warhammer game I actually played to completion was Space Marine, which we're getting a sequel to soon. Um, soon-ish. I'm assuming next year, sometime. Uh, and, uh, yeah, he did a video for it, so I thought that would be kind of fun. Uh, I did a full playthrough of the game you could you could check my if you know my gamer tag you could check i swear i played this game all the way through i did a review for it a long time ago um and uh yeah i'm not even gonna lie i rented it from a blockbuster that's how long it was, it was. blockbuster was still around and uh i played it just because uh because of certain things it looked like a fun game mark strong was in it love mark strong will russian badger even bring up mark strong no there's no way there's no way he's gonna he's gonna he, he probably won't i'm gonna say no that's my guess anyway let's get to it mark strong's a great actor and anyway, let's go three two one just look him up you look him up and immediately you see his face you'd be like oh i know that guy and anyway, let's go three link in the description three two one play i came here to do two things and two things only. one sexual heretics and steal property uh -huh. and i already stole your property so let's do this let's do this <laughs> Actually load this game up. It was fun. Welcome to the grim darkness of the future. Is it backwards compatible? I think it is. Happiness is banned. Peace doesn't exist, and there's only war. There's only war. Reason, no only war. In this war, it's us versus them. Us being the Imperium of Man, led by the Almighty Emperor himself. There is yeah. no shelter for those who oppose the Imperium of Man. I, and I feel like Warhammer would make a fucking awesome movie series. Or or show. I, I bet a show would be better as long as it has the budget. Them being anybody that isn't us. For the sake of simplicity, we'll just call them Xenos. I mean, that's just in real life. Really. That's just how I live my life. Xenos. And what's the only thing Xenos. defending us from them? You might ask. Space Marines. Get off our ship, Space Marines. No. Space Marines. Space Marines. Genetically modified, just this like game the vegetables. Looks really good still for like. 11 year old game at the grocery store only instead of staying right for long periods of time they're crafted by the emperor to purge heretics yes I, mean, I did love that fucking uh all right i'll stop talking two hearts we're talking three lungs we're talking night vision Sam we're talking Fisher. eight foot tall 800 pound monsters that look like hulk hogan ate boogie 2988 and oh, covered no. himself in a steel suit of armor the size of a range rover we are the bringers of death think of them as we're I'd rather he brought up Wings of Redemption instead. Legion-fueled death machines hell-bent on exterminating any race that isn't human, while also not being racist. Racist? Space Marines aren't racist. We love all races. As long as they don't have green skin. Oh, <laughs> God! Or, you know, belong to a different religion. Hell yeah. I don't know why anyone would call us racist. Yeah. I'm a black priest for Emperor's sake. Thank God, say yeah. die. He's black, so he can't be racist. racist. Except orcs, and Eldar, and Dark Eldar, so, and Necrons, <laughs> and Tau, because nobody likes dumbass weeaboo space communists. But at least they aren't trying to eat us like the Tyranids. Glossing over all that lore that you... That's an insult. I, I, I'm a weeaboo at heart. Uh... I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, uh, do, uh, do they really just call them orcs, but they put a K instead of a C? That's their workaround. <laughs> I love that. We have those space communists, but at least they aren't trying to eat us like the Tyranids. Glossing over all that lore that you don't need to understand. One such chapter of Space Marines are the Ultra Marines. Or if we're being honest, Ultra Smurfs. That are charged with exterminating yeah, the orcs on one of your manufacturing planets that are stealing your shit. Level of the damned orcs. How important shit. is this you, shit that they're you stealing, it. you might ask? Strategic value, absolute. So, oh, whoa. I'm guessing that's pretty important. That's that's strategic strategic value. Absolute? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Doesn't make things any clearer for the audience. Are these the actual voice lines in the game, or is he just adding these? A strategic value, absolute. You occupy the role of Captain Titus. I'm, never mind. I don't even know why I asked that question. Soft spoken junior officer, voiced by the legendary yes! Mark Strong. You know what? Hold on. 
Gonna do that right there. All right. Was joined by an OG sergeant and a turbo nerd subordinate named Leandros that constantly hounds you about not following a dipshit rule book called a codex. Is that wise? Yeah, be knows. The codex is not support this action. Shut the fuck up, Leandros. To be perfectly clear, I beat the entire game once in its default state and had so much of a blast, I beat it again immediately afterwards, only with mods out the ass. So oh, instead okay. Instead of playing as a calm and collected crit brewery. <laughs> wait, is that? Wait, no. That's not really what they're called, right? Okay. Are they? I don't know. Oh, sorry. I don't know. My nose is there. I played as a blood marine, which, if I'm being honest, was a slightly different experience. So if you're about to write this video off as heresy or confusing, I understand. I just grew up playing an RTS called Dawn of War and would rather play as a blood raven than an ultramarine smurf blueberry. Now that this is really important, let's start purging and also spoiler alert, transitions are weird. The orcs invading your planet and trying to steal your huge ass titan tank are a super diverse bunch, ranging from puny little orc children that shouldn't even exist. Oh, look at him, he's adorable. Don't run away from me. Hey, come here, little fucker. Why? <laughs> Why is he explodes all his blood out? All the way up to the orc war boss Grimskull himself, who was basically Shrek in his final form. He, look, he looks like... I want to say he looks like a Ratchet and Clank character. Like a, like someone you'd fight in Ratchet and Clank. Or no, you know what? He, oh, fuck. I just had it in my brain what he looked like, and it's gone. He. No, I was going to say like a Mega Man character, but like, no, 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 no. Dude, I just had it. He looks like some somebody. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, that's weird. Equally as diverse, the weapons at your disposal to eradicate them with. From a dinky bolter pistol all the way to a heavy bolter. I'm kind of excited for that orcs, second game. The caliber game. you're firing can never be too high. I'm gonna need a heavy bolter for this heresy. The quickest way to purge through <laughs> scores of orcs? Melee. Getting up close and personal well, is not only really the fastest funny. way to yes. cut through melee orcs really with funny. single, double, and triple yes. hit combos, yes. but yes. believe it or not, it's how space marines heal. Yeah, that's right. These guys Makes are so draconian, they don't need to pick up health kits because the enemies Fuck that. are the, Get that Halo shit out the health kits. <laughs> Hell yeah, the murder is the health. And that's gonna go up, look at that. Just crump some poor orc, mash your stun key until an orange skull pops up and execute his ass for a speedy and convenient health boost. I like boost. when the red comes out. Your melee weapon of choice Yum. is a trade-off between speed and damage. Like the chainsword is agile and great for Yum. cutting things, while you're also simultaneously already cutting things, but it's less potent against heavy armor. I, am cutting. I feel like... Every time one of these space marines or blood marine or whatever, every time they talk, it's exactly how I expect like Doom Slayer to talk. Like if he ever talked, he'd just be like, "Die!" He just he just scream. <laughs> that's how that's how he 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 thinks when he's murdering. You know, I mean, he does Doom Slayer technically does talk. He just you know he chooses not to. But if he had to talk, this is the shit he'd say. I mean, he get big guts. You know. Things even though I was already cutting. On the other right, hand, on. or rather, with both hands, the Thunder Hammer handles Whoa. as awkwardly as a bus, but it also hits like a bus. See, I don't a remember. Sign in a school zone. Hey, yo. I'm not good. There's no way I'm going to remember a lot of stuff. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's go back. This is a highlight. It's so. a bus, but it also... I see it right there, the little purple. So it hits like a bus. Let's see why it's a highlight. stop sign in a school zone. Hey, yo, Orc, are you Elon Musk? I'm about to send your ass into outer space. <laughs> And you've got a power axe in between those two extremes. Right. I can't explain why, but it feels like you're competing in a figure skating slash rhythmic gymnastics competition what when you, you use doing? it. And I'm oddly okay with that. <laughs> If you God want to get fancy, damn. you can melee three times and mash stun to curb stun multiple enemies and choke slam any motherfucker still standing. Die, yeah, so he, say, he races as hell. <laughs> that when it comes to this move, the Emperor most definitely does approve. I said, save something. Wait, hold on. Oh, no. Brother. Brother, help me. <laughs> Where's Captain Diomedes when you need him? I should have wore my fucking Flash Gets a Warhammer shirt. Brother. That my boy Mighty Gazelle gave me. Shout out. Brother! Brother, I am Peter Brother. here! Eventually. 
eventually you'll realize you can't just slice that's the one thing i know about warhammer they say brother a lot and not even for these videos that was the one thing i already knew brother <laughs> way through the game <laughs> Chaos Marines and their pedantic piece of shit leader Meme Rock. That Meme Rock? Noise cannot defeat me! And you'll need to start firing guns if you want to survive. Okay. Or more specifically, Bolters. Bolters, brothers! If you call this thing an assault rocket. <laughs> I just want to hear Mark Strong once. <laughs> like he's, I know that the, uh, he either swapped the voice pack or he just added these in the footage. I just want to hear his voice once. Okay, I can't remember what he sounds like in this. I think he just talks like Mark Strong, right? I don't know if he was doing like a different accent or something. Break your arms because it may be used like an assault rifle. Only instead of firing a two two three the size of a crayon or a three oh eight the size of your finger, it fires a nine nine eight, which should actually be a seventy five cal according to the lore. That's essentially. Oh, like firing a self-propelled can of Red Bull that explodes after penetrating its target, making it almost <laughs> into an assault Red rifle Bull. RPG hybrid. Oh, How many fucking robots does this place have? Are you creating a oh. period outpost or an Amazon headquarters? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You have downward variants <laughs> and upward variants. All those turrets like and Amazon. Pistol, in case you've got something heavy in your hands, and my personal favorite, the Stalker Bolter, which is the most satisfying sniper rifle I've ever had the privilege of using. Just I remember like, this game having very satisfying combat i don't remember anything about it though i just remember the combat being fun accessory three you ready and one oh. and two and, and three, not three not what four, that should have been i'm really glad that all the orcs saw that are about to be burst because that was embarrassing if you absolutely <laughs> positively have to expand so as many rounds as possible the storm bolter does exist which is like a double barreled lmg that's cool for the first five minutes that you use it Oh, I do remember this gun. The accuracy of the storm yeah, bolter. I remember this gun being really, really lame. Most of the guns I do remember just being fun, and in the melee combat was, I mean, simple but really, really fun and uh, and uh, violent. Alternatives do exist because the game I like, gives I like you when four the spots consisting of a primary, secondary, long range, and four, 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 two, 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 four. I kept the standard <laughs> bolter and stalker bolters throughout most of the game because sometimes one bolter just isn't enough to stop a horde of orcs trying to crump your ass into outer space. I'm gonna get okay. two bolters for this heresy. But once I started fighting the stop. <laughs> The forces of chaos, I dropped the stalker with a last cannon or laser cannon, aka the Space Marine Spartan oh, laser. Really that was oh, clearly yeah. superior because here's me killing a chaos marine with a bolter. Ow, 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 fuck out. Okay, ow. Doing the same deed with a las cannon slash laser cannon. By the emperor, that's powerful. For your heavy Demon slot, it's all about the out. vengeance launcher, which fires sticky nades that you can personally detonate. Because who wants to launch rockets when you can launch vengeance? Is there a reason why they have their helmets off, though? I'm assuming just so you know which one's which, because they want to build those characters. Uh, Vengeance launcher. That sounds promising. Even a flame bursting shotgun exists, but all of these specialized weapons rip through ammo at an incredible pace, so honing your bolter skills is the way to go. Navigating the levels is obviously done by either running or. Such a good spammable thing to say. Bur that, that, like Overwatch needs one of those. Just with a pur purge and holy fire. Like, why the fuck? Fuck did Mercy say that? <laughs> or rolling? Oh, and don't ask me how the hell these characters roll in this much armor. It's a long story. But channeling your inner Dark Souls character to kite enemies or get to objectives faster awesome, is a significant bro. portion of your playthrough. It's even useful in boss fights because who needs to kill orcs when you can just roll out of the way and have orcs kill themselves? Here he comes! Here he comes! Here he comes! Oh, oh that's hey, sick. How does it feel like a grump by a member of your own race? That okay. has to be an achievement. Like, let your, uh, whatever his name, Cramp, Crampros or whatever, uh, just making it up, uh, run over his own guys 20 times. these little Mike Wazowski looking dudes called I don't like, I don't like seeing him too often. Wigs that explode on impact and are arguably better I'm at triggered. killing orcs than you are. So this theme of orcs killing themselves is not a new phenomenon. Come on, it's big Concern. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. But as yeah, I was saying, you won't always 
just be running or rolling through the terrain because eventually you'll the, gain access to a jump The pad. graphics look really good. Is that just me? Like, considering it's like a 2011 game, it looks really good. Which when I think it's just because the armor looks so sick. And with a thunder hammer is like an NBA dunk <laughs> contest skull. mixed with Super Smash Brothers. Outside LeBron, five seconds left. LeBron leaps. Oh, my God. LeBron James with a complete disregard for <laughs> LeBron James is also racist. Confirm. This jump pack also happens to be wonderful at getting you places in record time. It's almost like using unbridled rage as a mode of transportation. <laughs> And now that you know what you're swinging, shooting, and zooming around with, there's one thing that enhances everything. Oh, yeah, and that's it? called Fury. If being a uh, space marine like wasn't already mode. super soldier enough, you can channel Fury, which builds up as you purge heretics and, well, deliver merciless justice upon the enemies of humanity. That means your health surges. Which is everybody. That means you hit harder. That means you turn Besides 30 humanity. seconds of hacking and slashing into a 10 second nightmare for any enemies in your general vicinity. This looks with really curse fun. Stomps that are extra earth trembling oh, this fury becomes more and more powerful as the game goes on and there's even a marksman mode so if you ever wanted to enter a slow motion bullet time mode as a badass it. space marine here's your shot there's something about all right i know this is gonna sound really stupid there's something about just that reticle right there that little dot and using that reticle for a sniper that just makes it feel so much better like i, I, I don't know why does that make sense? I don't know. A little, little like circle reticle, little, little, little circle. That's for any gun, really, but sniper definitely because you pop the heads off. Nice, nice. Oh, <laughs> oh, he the ascended. Only aspect of the game that I love more than the combat, movement, and gear are the objectives. I'm pretty sure the every objective in the game is either three words or four words. Kill. And that's the way it should be. Kill Those bad man. We find a way to destroy the gun. There you go. So you may be able to criticize some stretches of the game for being just running and rolling between elevators. Running and rolling. Oh, no, Does anybody know if repeatedly rolling or sprinting is faster? I've been at this 200 years. I still don't know. Hey, look, a lift. Have they lived that long? I don't know lore. I don't know lore. I don't know lore. I'm assuming they are super soldiers to the point where they can live for a long time. I don't know why I was doing this. Is this how they do it? They go... And then just inject the super soldier serum. Oh, that's good shit. Put me in my suit. But it focused. Can they piss him and shit in those? I need to know. This is important. This is on what it's good at, which is violent purging and eradicating nice. any life yes. form that doesn't oh, look I like love, you. I love a good head stomp. Stop <laughs> Yeah, there. I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I would say sorry for hitting you so hard that the game glitch, but I don't apologize to Xenos. The story isn't all that. <laughs> he he blew his head off and flipped and then went on his knees with no, no head. Important, seeing as the game only he, takes five to six hours to beat, yeah, and the really best sure, character right. is Orc Warboss Grimskull because he's the only character that doesn't put me to sleep with her monologuing. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't remember much of the story. I don't know. Oh, I Spice Marine! <laughs> Where's that from? I know that dialogue. Where's that from? My second playthrough was any better because with all the mods I was running, none of the story made any sense. Second right. Lieutenant Mira, two. Well, the I do remember the end. Don't, don't you get thrown... I, this is the one thing I remember in the story. Don't you get, like, you did something and then they arrest you, even though you save people or something like that. That's, a, that's all... That, I vaguely remember that. You get, like, put under arrest or something. Better because with all the mods something I was like running, that. none of the story made any it's been 11 sense. Years. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. It is the Bane Blade! <laughs> you are I'm all that's left, my lord. Damn gun. It's like when in that bullet storm DLC where they just put Duke Nukem in there and nothing made sense anymore because they kept calling him Gracie. He's like, oh, my name's not Gracie. My name's Duke Nukem. He said it exactly like that, too. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. And as you might have seen, <laughs> it's shooting down all our support vessels. Engaging warp spider. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, you know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of what's his name from uh, Borderlands 2, where he just says random shit. Uh, Krieg, is that his name? I love that guy. Bridge in the end sequence, and given their history uh, of kleptomania, all aboard the poop train. I'm shocked they uh, didn't steal anything. Hippity hoppity, where the fuck is my property? <laughs> You're gonna have a final boss fight with me, Rob, who's obsessed Ooh. with becoming. Damn, that tight ass. Being ascended for reasons that I won't spoil, but again, this game cute, is about you. the gameplay, not about the story. Damn it, I had something for this. Uh, something, something. <laughs> it's not about the plot. <laughs> it's about the plot. <laughs> The end. And that's about it. But before I go, I wanted to mention oh. as of me recording this video right now, it is $7 on Steam. Uh, this is in no way a super sponsored cheap video. Game. I'm pretty sure Relic, the guys that made it, don't even exist anymore. Of course, oh, yeah, Sega still exists, so. but I don't think Relic is I'll... around anymore. So from an unbiased Who's position, making if you have $7 se on sequel. you that you're not going to spend on your next meal, I highly recommend that you pick it up. As long as you don't let a bunch of turbo nerds drown you in lore that takes lifetimes to understand, Warhammer 40k is fascinating. So again, yeah. seven dollars. It does seem like it is totally worth it. Thanks very much. It seems like a fascinating thing to just kind of stumble onto. You know what I mean? Like just play it, however, wherever you want to play it. You know, whatever game. Just go into it, even if you don't quite understand it. It seems like it's pretty simple when it comes to. I know it's not simple. Let, let me explain what I mean. It, it seems like it'll be pretty simple to to just like kind of bask in its. And it's whatever, like Space Marine. You could probably play that game without really knowing much of the lore. They explain things that you probably would only understand if you knew the lore, but you can kind of tune it out, it seems like, and just play the fun game. Uh, same thing with some of the other games. Like that Death, was it Death Watch or Death March or something like that? Um, it seems like, yeah, that that one in particular it will be fine, yeah, because it's multiplayer focused. Oh. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next time when we make fun of the Salamanders. <laughs> I'm part Salamander, what the fuck? The fuck did he mean by that? I'm upset. I'm looking at loot picks at 3am. It's, it's 4am, and I'm not looking at loot picks. Not yet. I say that for 5am, when I should definitely be asleep. Oh, this song's good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who, who did this first? Was it Video Game Donkey or was it Donkey Badger? What's his name? Russian Badger. With the, the, the more bad bird or whatever. I, feel, I swear. I want to say Video Game Donkey did it first. But I don't know. Weird. Anyway. There you go. That is for the Emperor. Warhammer 40k Space Marine. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I liked it. Uh, I like, yeah, I really like the review ones. The ones that are like, I mean, they're all kind of review ones because he just reviews a particular part. But like, when it's about a single player, like that Doom Eternal one, I really liked. Actually, no, that's not the same one. Is it? Yeah, that is the same one. Never mind. What's this one? Oh, Cross Out. I've never seen that game, but uh, I always used to see it on the top free played game. Top played free games on, um, xbox whenever i went to the store so i was like cross out what the hell it looked, it looked like a like a car combat game so every time i saw like i saw pictures i didn't seen. is this the one i watched or yeah this is yeah definitely there you go that's what's going on. you got a spider-man video okay okay i think i need to watch it i got so many russian badger videos to watch and i really enjoy these so it's one of those things where i'm just like oh, i get to watch a fun <laughs> well i get to watch a fun <laughs> anyway there you go. That is that. Warhammer 40k Space Marine. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Goodbye.